So let's say you've done a Roth conversion and you're now over age 59 and a half and you want to know whether you're out of the woods for the so-called five-year holding period rule. First of all, what is the five-year holding period rule when it comes to Roth conversions? This rule was established to prevent people from gaining easy access to their IRAs pre-59 and a half by simply doing a Roth conversion and then immediately tapping those converted dollars with no penalty. Here's specifically what the rule says. If you do a conversion, you have to wait at least five years until you access any of those converted dollars if you want to avoid the 10% penalty. By the way, that five-year holding period rule applies to each new segment of converted money. So if you convert money this year, you have to wait five years before touching those converted funds. If you convert money next year, you'll have to wait five years from that point before you can touch those converted funds. So if you're 50 years old and you do a Roth conversion, you'll have to wait until you're 55 before you can access those converted dollars with that penalty. Now, if you decide to touch any of the growth on those converted dollars prior to age 59 and a half, you will pay tax and penalty on those dollars. So the question becomes, if you're older than age 59 and a half, are you out of the reach of the five-year holding period rule? Does that rule become null and void merely because you reached age 59 and a half? Well, since you can't receive penalties after age 59 and a half, that rule technically does become null and void. Why? Because the five-year rule answers the question, will I pay penalties on converted funds? And because you can't receive penalties once you reach age 59 and a half, then the penalty is totally off the table. The big question then becomes, will you pay tax on any interest or growth you experience on those converted dollars if you access them post 59 and a half? To answer that question, we have to draw upon a different five-year rule. You heard me right, there are two five-year rules that you have to worry about in this equation. That second five-year rule says that you can withdraw the growth or interest of those converted dollars after 59 and a half tax-free so long as five full years have passed since you made your first Roth contribution or Roth conversion. So here's an example. Let's say that you're 58, you convert 100,000 from IRA to Roth, then at age 62, that money has grown to 150,000. You can access the 100,000, which is the converted portion of the IRA, 100% tax-free and penalty-free. Why? Because you already paid tax on it when you converted it, plus there are no penalties once you reach age 59 and a half. However, you will pay a tax on that $50,000 of growth if you decide to take it out. Why? Because you didn't wait five full years since your first Roth contribution or conversion. Only four years have elapsed since you executed the Roth conversion. Here's another example. Let's say you're 55. You convert 100,000 from IRA to Roth, then at age 63, your money has grown to 175,000 and you wanna gain access. Will you pay a penalty if you cash out the full 175,000? No, because you're older than age 59 and a half. Will you pay a tax if you access the full 175,000? No, because more than five full years have elapsed since you made your first Roth contribution or conversion. Remember, you did your Roth conversion eight years earlier, so you satisfied that second five-year rule. In summary, do you have to worry about the five-year Roth holding period rule once you hit age 59 and a half? The answer is no, because that rule answers the question of whether you pay a penalty on a withdrawal. And since you're older than 59 and a half, penalties are totally off the table. However, you will have to worry about a second five-year rule that says that five years have to have elapsed since your first Roth contribution or conversion before you can withdraw the growth on converted dollars 100% tax-free. So if you want to remove this rule from your life forever, I'd recommend starting that five-year clock today by simply making a small contribution to your Roth IRA. Folks, my upcoming book, The Guru Gap, How America's Financial Gurus Are Leading You Astray and How to Get Back on Track is now available for pre-order on Amazon. Take the opportunity to order your copy today. By the way, in the next 10 years, I'm looking to put 1 million Americans on the road to the 0% tax bracket. If you would like some help implementing a balanced, comprehensive approach to tax-free retirement that shields you from the impact of higher taxes down the road, head on over to DaveMcKnight.com and click on the Connect with an Advisor button. I'm happy to refer you to an advisor in the Powers Your Network that has been trained, vetted, and qualified personally by me. If you're a financial professional and want to learn how to become a certified Powers Your Advisor, head over to PowersYour.com and opt into my free video series. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them into the comment section below. I'll do my very best to respond to every single one of them personally. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell. 
so you never miss a video. This is David McKnight. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.